I love you, stars above you, shine like wine, girl you be fine. Can you see he loves you, bitch? I love you, bitch, I love you, bitch. Okay, when I listen in to you talk, mm -hmm. I hear you tell women um, with children that they should have been with the person that they had kids with. But then at, in the same breath, you tell them that going forward, they can't, they're not going to be able to get a man of high value. So where, where does that leave them? What are they supposed to do okay, now so, in this situation? So, so what you're saying is I tell women they should have stayed with their baby daddy. No, that the person they had their kid with is who they should have been married with. Which is their child's father, their baby daddy. Yes, yes. Okay, and then you, and then you say that I tell them that they can't, if they have children, they can't have a man of high value. That's, well, that's, what, you, I, that's, what, that's what you said there, right? That's what I'm hearing you tell them. That, okay, well, then that's the same thing, though. If you with your baby daddy, how many men can you get? Right. So that means if you're with him, you can't have uh -huh. him. Okay. okay. So, but because you're not with him, do you qualify for a high value man? Do, right. Do most baby mamas qualify for the men they want. Well, that's my next question is really. You qualify for as high as your baby daddy is. Well, I don't have any children, but I would like to know. Um, Cause I hear you talk a lot about weight. Whatever your whatever your child's father is, you need to hold the mm -hmm. phone steady. Hold the phone steady. Okay, sorry. Whatever your child's father is, mm -hmm. is it tends to be the upper limit of what you get. If your father's baby daddy is an average guy, how many women go get a man who's a millionaire? That doesn't happen, right? Because you're not supposed to have kids without a husband and you're supposed to pick the best man possible for you get the french toast out of the game and stay out don't come back but if mm -hmm. you come back to the game with a man's kid you are right so that's that's the reality and i think the real issue is why are these women with kids trying to have men why are they trying to do better than the men they had babies with I mean, growth. It's ten that's years not, later. It's not, it's not growth. No, no. Uh -huh. that's, that's the thing. You no, know, you're ten years older, ten years more used, and ten years less valuable. It doesn't work that way. That's understandable. But but I'm but it's always interesting to me that women think because well I made them I did this when I was young I made a mistake. Okay. Right. But it's a permanent one. It affects your sexual marketplace value. Right. And, I'm sorry, I'm talking the camera steady. But sit it down. Sit it down. But, but, right. but the funny thing is generations oh, prior to my generation understood this concept. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering why is it since 1970 Women think it should be different when for all of recorded history, you people knew. Right. So uh, and, you were going, and what's your other question about the weight? Um, yes. It's really pertaining to weight because I okay. feel like I do, I do believe when you say weight is a factor in getting a high value man. But I also feel like health is something that can be built upon. Just like sex, like, you know, sex can be built upon in a relationship. There's certain things like mindset. There's some things you can't really teach a person, but you can build on health. So why is it weight one of the biggest factors in not getting a high value man? Because they don't have to. Mm. The argument you're making is an argument that benefits women who are already overweight. Okay. If there are 100 women out there and 99 of them are in the weight range he wants. Why should he go get the one that's 200 and some odd pounds? I mean, what if she a cool girl? What if she has things going? She can offer him Too things. Bad. So what? Mm. See, 
I'm going to tell you the weight argument. You know what? Money is something that can be built upon. Why not get a man who's straight out of high school? Right. Do women pick men like that? Do men, For the do most women part, pick, no. Do women pick men uh, who are already not what they want and then choose to go do work to get him to the baseline of what they want? Right. Why do you ladies, why do women think men should do that? I'm asking. I'm serious. I'm, I'm really trying to understand because I, I hear this often that it's something like, like it's no big deal. Like it's something we could do together. The weight loss? Yeah, your, your head is cut off. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get it right. Yeah. Why, why, why do you feel like it's something that can be built on? I don't, I don't want to say I feel like it's something that can be built on, but I don't feel like it should be a, you know, uh, cut and dry. Like, no, if, if you're overweight, that's it. Um, show me the Middle Eastern or Asian men who choose overweight women. Show me the white, the majority of white men who choose overweight women. Okay. I mean, so I'm working on it. I'll tell you that. I'm in the process of losing weight because I do feel like outside of that, I deserve a high value man. How old are you? 29. Why do you, why do you, uh, now, this is why I'm always curious. Why do you women feel like you deserve anything? That's if a, I feel that, like that's I was some, to deserve anything, I would definitely feel like I deserve the best. I, I wouldn't want to feel like I deserve less than that. But you deserve the best you can do for yourself. You don't deserve mm -hmm. anything from another person. That's true. So, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't know how, I don't know if y'all understand how crazy that sounds to me when y'all say that I deserve the best. We got more average ass women today thinking they should be queens and deserve the best. Right. If all of y'all deserve the best, doesn't the best, if, if all the women who feel like you feel like they deserve the best and got it, wouldn't the best be then for be, therefore be average? Yes, but I've never been average. No. So. If, if women like you feel like you all deserve the best and you're in your, and 50 plus percent of you got that, wouldn't that become average? Best has to keep moving. Right? Mm hmm Does that make sense? But I'm trying to figure out what, how you determine I'm average on anything other than just my weight. That's, that's, that's the only thing I've told now, you so far. I said women in general, but I'll go down that path. How, 29? Mm -hmm. How tall are you? Like five, 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 six. Dress size? 16. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? Like 230. Closer to 250. But okay, um, any kids? <laughs> okay, are you funny? No. No, I'm just I'm an image consultant. So I mean that that 16, 16, 5, 5, mm -hmm. that's close to that's close to the 250, but no kids. Mm -mm. Okay. Um did you go to college? Mm hmm Yes. Bachelor's, master's, what? I started the master's program. I didn't finish. So bachelor's, so, yeah. Bachelor's in what? Social studies. Okay. Uh, on a scale from one to ten, fresh face out of the shower, your natural hair. What would you rate just your face? You can't use seven. No, um, I would say like five, five, six. Okay. So where would an average-looking woman? Five is average. Mm hmm With the why would you be more than that? Because your your looks are average. Your your mm -hmm. your your physical fitness and your body is below your acad and even if we start judging on the things that men don't judge on mm -hmm. but if we judge on uh, academic achievement social study right okay where is any of that extraordinary mm -hmm. where, I mean, where is any of that extraordinary 
Well, where, I mean, I really outcomes? haven't been working in, in, in that field where I got my degree, and I've actually been driving trucks, so. But the point is, what if you did work in the field? How much could you make a year? About fifty, sixty thousand. So you tell me why, if you're average looking uh -huh. and your body's below average, your income is middle income. Uh -huh. Why do you deserve the best? Because you say, and, and you say, why would I say? But that's that's contradicting you, though. But, but then you say, and you say, well, why would you say that? I'm average when I haven't told you told me told you anything. Well, mm -hmm. based on what you told me, you're below average. Because if your face is average mm -hmm. and your body's two hundred and thirty plus pounds, mm -hmm. that that drags your average down, right? Okay. So if you were a five and you had a banging body, it would mm -hmm. help you move up, right? Okay. I mean. Is that not how it works? No, it's making sense. It's adding up. So that's why you got something called a butter face. She's got a banging body, but her face. Mm -hmm. So women have always, who are average, have always known that if you're going to be average looking, you have to overperform in your body. And the day we have women who are average looking, and that's most women are average looking. Most mm -hmm. men are average looking, but then you, you're going the opposite direction. Right. What are you doing to What are you doing to bring your overall sexual marketplace value up? Okay. I'm asking you to to the level where you say you are. Um. Well, I have been working out, so I will say that much. Um. I got a personal trainer. I've been working on that because I do know that that's, for one, I don't really want it just before a man. I really want it for myself because health is important. Um, I've definitely been working on making over 100000 I've gotten very close. I'm, I'm not there yet, but I'm definitely working to make over 100000 a year. And so, yeah, those are some of the things I've been working on. So, from what I'm hearing, mm -hmm. you hired a personal trainer. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You can't count that. Men look at men look at outcomes, not possibilities. Okay. Just like women don't judge builder, they judge on what's there. Where in a why do you think where can a woman increase her money to make her look better? If money if, if earning money made you more attractive, why uh -huh. aren't, why aren't women who are millionaires with high value men that's a good question because it doesn't matter right so your hundred thousand dollars your hundred thousand dollars a year even if i gave it to you does not uh -huh. increase your sexual marketplace value at all okay but is so that, i pretty it, much it, have to Get my looks above average, lose but you those can't. But you can't. You can't. You you have the face you have. We That's have, true. We, but if we I have, money, like you said, it'll bring me up some. But no, it'll bring you up some. Yes, but have you? When was the last time you were a, a consistently a dress size six? I don't think I've ever been a dress size six. You didn't go to bed. At, you didn't go to bed as a child and wake up the size you are. You may not remember. So that tells what that tells me is it's been so long since you were mm -hmm. a healthy female, normal weight. You don't even remember at 29. Okay. When was the last time your physical frame was 120 pounds, 125 pounds for your height? Because women tend to stop growing vertically at around 12 years old, 12 to 14. I, I can't remember. I'm not even gonna sit here and try to make a number. Of, I, I can't. All remember. right. So, so even if you were to lose weight, you've had most of your life being overweight. Right. I tell I tell men if you need to look at, look at her five year average, and your five year average has been dress size sixteen. Uh mm huh. -hmm. That means it's gonna only get bigger. Your, your. 
That means, okay, that means you and every other woman, it's only going to get bigger. At best, it's going to maintain. Most I mean, people, I can most see people, your perspective. I don't agree, but I can see it. But you don't have to agree. Uh-huh. Who, who agrees with my perspective? Most men. And that's the problem. Unless you're going to deal with, unless you're going to go gay, what are you going to do? Make them accept you? So what is your suggestion to no, me? No, 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 no. You say that's your perspective. You don't agree. Okay, fine. But you just said most men agree. So if you want a man and most men agree, what are you going to do? Lose weight. Try to make, try to make myself more appealing. And see, if you're a man and uh -huh. you want to deal with a woman who does not agree with me, or most men, do you want a woman who has that kind of attitude regarding losing weight? She's going to be resentful. She's, going, she's not going to do it for what you said earlier, for the health reasons or whatever. Mm -hmm. Men understand that women who talk like you lose weight to get a man, and then you go right back to where you were. That's why men look, it's smart for a man to look at a woman's five-year average, because that means that's what she's likely going to be. I can, I can respect that. I can see that. So, I do. So, ma'am, uh, what do I expect? That in a normal world, you would qualify for an average man, a $42,000 okay. a year guy. Okay. But, why, but, but, but you pause like, ugh. No, it's not ugh. But, but you said, but we started this off thinking, I deserve a high value man. I'm like, Okay, maybe I use the wrong terminology. I would want one. Maybe I don't deserve it, but I I do feel like I want one. Well, do do average men want do average men want dime pieces? Yeah, they do. Do they get them? Sometimes. I mean, but overall, well, no, 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 no. This is bullshit. That's bullshit. <laughs> when does an average man get a dime piece? When? When they've known each other since high school. When no, ma'am. You know. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. See? See? This is why you ladies mess up. Because the truth cuts off potential. And now you got to accept that just like an average man doesn't get a dime piece, mm -hmm. there's even a special category of adult film to where an adult film actress will pick a fan and she'll choose to do that's the only way that happens is if a dime piece decides she wants to just give some charity, but she doesn't get with him. She hooks up with him and leaves. Um why not just be so uh women in your position uh -huh. are fit for average men, and that average man is a blessing to you. No, I believe that. Yeah, but you don't. But you don't. But you haven't talked about an average man, and you want you you want the man up here. Man, period. Like average, above average. Yeah. At this well, point, so. well, I would say because you know you're not rude, but, mm -hmm. your, but your attitude is not right. Okay, so what do you suggest for me? Uh, this is why I think therapy is so important because I don't understand personally don't understand when I know you ladies can see yourself naked getting out of the shower in the mirror. You see that. The DRE, a straight G. <laughs> uh -huh. You know what that looks like. And, how, and I don't understand how you can make it anything other than what it is. Right. Self-awareness. And then uh -huh. you ask yourself, okay, when was your last relationship? Like 2017. Okay. Uh, who ended it? We agreed that we were better off uh, as friends. Uh, 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 uh. You know what I mean? I don't work that way. Who ended it? You know I me? Mean? I don't work that way. Come on now. I would say me because he was talking to another woman. Okay. So 2017, how long did it last? Almost a year. And what was the one before that? I can't remember, to be honest. Because so you really I don't have. All right, so there you go. 
there's a lot going on here, ma'am. Um, mm -hmm. So if you don't have a history of having relationships, uh -huh. do you have sex? Not often. Well, then there's a whole lot going on. Um, <laughs> okay. I, I mean, just a whole lot, I mean, because... And I don't really want to get into it here. Book a session. That's what you really need to do because...